What's going on, everybody? Brian Power of WageTalk.com back with you off the 5-0 and sweep in college hoops last night. Later on, I'll be letting you know how you can get the next seven days of winners for just $74. But first, we've got to talk about Kentucky and LSU. A 9 p.m. Eastern tip-off from Baton Rouge tonight on ESPN. Oddsmakers, open the line, Kentucky minus 5. But looking at the WageTalk.com live odds screen, betters have taken it up to minus 6.5. I think the current number's too high, and here's why. One, might be a look ahead here for Kentucky. They host Alabama on Saturday in a game where the total could be north of 180. I am not buying Kentucky's so-called defensive resurgence of the last two games. Ken Palm, they still have the Wildcats 82nd in adjusted defensive efficiency. That's obviously not terrible in the grand scheme of things, but it's still low enough to cost them some games or at least a cover on the road. Here's another point I want to make. LSU can score. In four of the last six games, the Tigers have put up 80 or more points. The average that they uh, have at home for the year is 81.5 points per game. If they can hit that number tonight, I think it's pretty difficult for Kentucky to cover this current number. Thirdly, over the last three seasons, Kentucky 5-17 against the number following a game where they allowed fewer than 60 points. That includes 0-2 ATS this season. In case you missed it, over the weekend, Kentucky pulled off perhaps their most impressive win to date, 70-59 to at Auburn. But as impressive as that win was, okay, here's my final point to make on the spread here. Shot quality data actually graded that game as a likely loss for the Wildcats. Same thing for their 75-63 win over Ole Miss last week. How can we look at a couple double-digit wins and someone say, well, maybe those should have been losses? Here's why. The key in both of those victories was opponents missing a lot of wide-open threes. In fact, Auburn and Ole Miss combined to go a just absolutely atrocious 9 of 44 from three-point range. I anticipate LSU hitting enough threes to stay with the number here, and thus my recommendation would be to grab the plus six and a half while it's still available. I made the number for this game LSU plus four, so I'm definitely showing value. Obviously, my number more in line with where the odds makers open things up at. Now, if you're looking to play the total over, probably the only way to go. Kentucky's 18 and seven to the over all games this season, but note, number's pretty high. 163 per the wagertalk.com odd screen, and money has come in on the under it, because things opened at 165. So I'll just stick with LSU plus six and a half. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. And as always, if you like what you heard, smash that like button, do us a favor. Tons of great sports betting videos each and every day here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel, of course. So make sure you hit subscribe if you already haven't done so. That way you don't miss any of them. And I do want to let you know about last night. I mentioned at the top, it was a 5-0 and sweep for yours truly. Broke out the old broom on Tuesday. Cashing BYU minus 2.5, Utah State minus 2.5, Creighton plus 3. They pulled the outright upset over UConn. UMass minus 3.5. I got a bad number there. It didn't matter. And WVU, West Virginia plus 3. You heard that on the college basketball show, uh, the college basketball tip-off show, which air uh, takes place every afternoon here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. West Virginia was also an outright winner. Let's not forget Monday, what I did as well. Best bet on Virginia Tech? They demolished Virginia by 31 points. So it's a perfect 6-0 start to the week in college hoops for me. I'm number one at Wager Talk over all the last three days. And you go back 13 months, I am up 101.8 units of profit in basketball. That's NBA and college combined. Of course, NBA is back tomorrow. And for a limited time only, you can get the next seven days for $74. Here's how you do it. It's $25 savings. You use the coupon code WEEK. 25 at checkout. That's W E E K 25. And that will give you every play I release for the next seven days, not just college hoops, but NBA again starts uh, back up tomorrow and soccer as well. Week 25, W E E K 25 at checkout gives you an instant $25 savings off the cost of a seven day all access pass. WT.buzz backslash BP is where to take advantage. And you can find me on X, formerly Twitter, at BrianPower underscore wins. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.